Hey everyone, I love exercise. It is very cool and also fun. In fact, I'm exercising right now. Let's talk about Wii Fit. Wii Fit, the second best-selling fitness game of all time behind Pokemon Ranger. According to Wikipedia, Wii Fit is an Xer gaming video game, also known as Gamer Sizing, you've probably seen the term before. The game released in Japan in December of 2007, eventually making its way over here to North America in May of 2008, along with the Wii Balance Board accessory that was required to play. Since the Wii itself was already in just about every family household at this point, a family-friendly fitness game that was supposed to be fun and have actual health benefits was an easy sell to most Wii owners. So Wii Fit flew off the shelves, I even remember playing this game with my grandma, that's how broad of an appeal it had. But for all these treasured family memories, I hardly hear anyone talk about this game anymore, which I mean, I guess makes sense, it's been 12 years, but for the sake of nostalgia and honestly not much else, let's take a deep dive back into the world of Wii Fit. Shit. After trying and failing to bring my balance board back from the dead, I managed to secure a new one, so now we're finally ready to hop into the game. Today we'll be looking at Wii Fit Plus, because do I look like a peasant? So we're finally ready to look at the game. Last test over one week ago, sounds about right. To start things off, Wii Fit asks you to take a daily body test, which focuses on keeping your balance centered while the game calculates your BMI. Let's see how I did. Alright, well considering the game is still using the body info I put in when I was 11, I guess it makes sense that it thinks I'm obese. But now that I'm a grown man, my goal is to be 22 pounds more obese in two weeks, pray for me! The body test then wraps up with some more balance-based minigames. I learned that I have the body of a 38-year-old with back pain, that's nice. But now let's get to the real meat of the game, the training. This is split into five categories based on fun, fun, and yoga. Training Plus consists of the activities that are exclusive to Wii Fit Plus, just a series of eccentric minigames primarily meant to test your balance, agility, and coordination. For example, Perfect 10 has you shake your hips to do the math, any teacher would get arrested for saying that. Island Cycling takes you on a nice little tour around the island, but your goal is to cover as little distance as possible, which seems like a weird choice if they want you to get exercise in. Rhythm Kung Fu is a funny little game where you have to copy the movement of the Mii's behind you by moving the Wii Remote and Nunchuck in time with a beat. I can't say this is the most fun fun rhythm game in the world or the best exercise, but I mean, hey, it's not bad. Bird's Eye Bullseye works your upper body in the weirdest way possible and lets me fulfill my dream of becoming Funny Chicken Guy, and Big Top Juggling is a legitimately fun balance game that lets me fulfill my nightmare of becoming a professional clown. Segway Restricted Circuit goes against all the rules of whack-a-mole I've ever learned, but it's a fun game that you can actually feel in your calves. And then we've got Obstacle Course, which is one of the few mini games which feels more game than mini. This is the one I remember playing so much as a kid. I'd compete with my family to see who could make it the farthest or get the best time, and all around it was kind of a blast. For the controls, you just walk on the balance board to move and straighten your legs to jump, but it works well and overall this minigame still holds up as my favorite to this day. Honestly, Training Plus makes up a lot of the most fun and memorable activities in the game, so the fact that the original Wii Fit doesn't include this kinda seems like you'd be missing out on games that are in my opinion integral to the Wii Fit experience. So I'll say again, Peasants. Our next category is yoga. To start, please step off me, not the first time I've heard that. If there's one thing I can say about this category, it's yoga. Yeah, you really just choose between a number of yoga poses and then do them. It's obviously the more exercise-y portion of the game, as opposed to the more clever and entertaining mini-games that you get in other categories, but there's probably someone out there who was thrilled about this section, so do it for them, I guess. Unfortunately, I just don't think many people are jumping out of their seat to salute the sun, so this part of Wii Fit often goes overlooked, and spine extension still hasn't made me any taller. Strength training is very similar to yoga in the sense that it's boring. You once again just follow along as the trainer tells you what to do. I think the only difference here is that these exercises are more specifically focused on strengthening muscles. Before we start, watch me show you how to do this exercise. Just The balance board actually does a pretty decent job of tracking your movement here, but it is just a board, so it relies on you to actually be doing the work and not the Bible. There's nothing wrong with this game mode if you're looking for some motivation to get fit, but my problem is that there's nothing entertaining about it, and you could easily do these exercises on your own and get just as good of a workout without even turning the game on. So after all that, I could really use something more exciting, like stepping on the Wii balance board repeatedly to the rhythm in front of a crowd of cheering Mii's. beautiful. 
The aerobics activities all do their job and give you a decent taste of aerobic exercise if you follow instructions, but I always found the hula hoop one to be a bit wonky, and Basic Run oddly has you step off the balance board and just run holding the Wii Remote and your goal is to not win the race, what kind of game is this? These are all fun enough to try out a couple of times, but I don't know if the amount of fun or exercise is enough to warrant coming back day after day. Finally, balance games are here to help you improve your balance and find inner peace, this is what true happiness looks like. In my opinion, this section has the most fun games outside of Training Plus, though it's of course still more focused on balance than in-depth gameplay. Some games in this section include Soccer Heading, which has you lean back and forth to knock soccer balls out of the way, it's all the fun of being a goalie without the brain damage. And Ski Jump is one I remember playing a lot. It might be super simple, where all you do is lean forward and straighten your legs at the right time to lift off, but it can be pretty fun and satisfying trying to top your high score. In Lotus Focus I discovered Nirvana, and Tightrope Walk stressed me out and sent me right back down to hell. Balance Bubble is another memorable one, mostly because I think it's genuinely difficult using our balance to navigate around obstacles, but that motivates me to keep trying more than the easier games do. And Penguin Slide has you rapidly shift your weight from side to side to feed Funny Penguin Guy, that's neat. So all these years later, Wii Fit remains a pretty interesting and groundbreaking fitness game, though there's not much reason to go back to it now. I feel the game's biggest problem is just that it struggles to strike the right balance between fitness and game. Like, many of the most fun games hardly feel like a workout, and the activities that that do get you feeling the exercise do not qualify as a game at all. I know that you're supposed to play several of these mini games together to get your full workout in, but even then there's not much reward for continued playing, and the games are not nearly deep enough to keep you coming back. This isn't to say that Wii Fit is a bad game, I still enjoyed my time with it, it just feels like the game is battling with itself over whether it's supposed to be fun or a workout, rather than being both. Even so, it's interesting to see the success that Wii Fit has had, being one of the Wii's best-selling games and remaining iconic enough to even warrant putting Wii Fit Trainer in Smash Bros. And just last year we got something of a spiritual successor to Wii Fit in Ring Fit Adventure for Nintendo Switch, which seems to have done a better job of feeling like a whole game while still offering a legitimate workout. While it's by no means perfect, I appreciate Wii Fit for being the most recognizable and fondly remembered fitness game out there, and for inspiring me to follow my dream of becoming Funny Chicken Guy. 